Hey guys, it's Kaylee. I'm back with another thrift haul. I'm going to be sharing with you some of the items that we got this week to flip online for profits. If I sound kind of hoarse, it's because I am losing my voice. I've been talking a lot over the holidays. Um, I feel fine and everything, but definitely starting to lose my voice. So just as a reminder, we pick up 140 items every single week to list on platforms such as eBay and Poshmark. So we're listing 20 items every single day, and this is some of the items that we're gonna be listing over the next week. This is an item I picked up from the bin, so super lightweight. This is just an American Eagle woman's V-neck, size large. Um, it is camo, camo ups value in a lot of things, and so getting this at the bins, I decided it would probably be a quick flip, and I picked it up. These are a pair of American Eagle kick boot jeans. Some of the flare jeans are coming back in, and so I do think people like the style. Um, this is also a size 10, which is a pretty good size in American Eagle, so we picked these up. I got these at the bins too. It is by Anthropology. It is postage stamp, size extra large, and this is just a really nice uh, speckled soft sweater. Kind of a unique style, it almost looks like a poncho with long sleeves underneath, but it is like an entire sweater. Super soft and cozy. Main reason I picked this up was because it was an anthropology and it was a size extra large, which is not very common. Typically I don't like picking up this brand postage stamp, but because of that reason, um, I did get it. Plus this is just a nice sweater for the winter. This is just the Nike tee. We pick these up all day long at the bins. This is a women's size small. It's just a muscle tank with some graphic red, white, and blue swishes on it. This I picked up at a regular Goodwill. It should flip for about 25 bucks. It's a Nike women's hoodie, size medium, full zip, heathered blue. Really nice, pretty blue color. This is something that I pick up at the bins. It's not vintage or anything. It is a modern, just band graphic t-shirt. Pink Floyd, crop style. Um, I pick these up at the bins and flip them for $15 to $25 all day long. So um, when they're the more popular brands and have a nice graphic, I get them. This is a Kate Spade t-shirt. I haven't decided yet whether this is just a regular t-shirt or maybe it's like a sleep shirt, but it's a pocket tee with a pig on it. Really excellent condition. Kate Spade size medium. Also a Ben's pickup, uh, same thing with that other shirt. This is Def Leppard. This one's by Forever 21. Thought it was kind of cute with the jersey look. It's pretty on trend right now. So this is something kind of unique. I got this at the Ben's as well. This is Signature by Jasmine Rose. They make sleepwear. Um, I looked up the velvet nightgowns and they seem to be doing pretty good or house coast, I guess you could call them. I went ahead and took a chance on this because it is like a really pretty royal blue and has this nice gold embroidery detail and the more unique pieces in these seem to be doing well um, and so I think I can get a pretty penny for this. Do not skip on sleepwear, um, especially the more unique sleepwear. Definitely look them up even if they look older because they are valuable. This is one of our favorite brands to sell, Marine Layer, and I pretty much pick this up all the time. We did get these at the Benz. Uh, this is a size small. I believe it's women's. We actually had the exact matching top to this. I believe this was a sleep set that already sold. Otherwise, I'd pair them together. But this brand, although it might not sell for a ton, um, does have an extremely good sell-through rate and a, a really big following. Okay, I took a chance on it. I got it at the bins. It's Gap size extra small, but it is a wool dolman sleeve kind of southwest inspired color scheme and i just thought it was really unique kind of has almost kimono sleeves oversized and just all of those factors combined i am going to take a chance on this but usually when i go with my gut i'm right and so um, i decided to give this a try because we were picking it up at the bins another bins find this is bella doll size extra small these are a like tinsel ysl uh, skirt definitely would not be something that we would pick up full price um, but at the bins it being super lightweight uh, we decided to get it I will say that tinsel lyocell is a uh, material that has performed very well for us 
And so I make sure to include that in my comp search when I find it. Is an Urban Outfitters piece. I found this at the bins. It's silence plus noise, medium large. Um, got this because it's super oversized Urban Outfitters and it's just really on trend. Again, with the oversized dolman sleeve, perfect for this time of the year. And this is kind of an oatmeal heather color. Got a Madewell V-neck pocket tee. These don't go for much, but the bends will definitely pick up. They flip uh, pretty quickly for us. A Life is Good shirt. Same thing, not um, crazy profits, but flip really quickly. Life is Good, size medium, women's graphic shirt. A Victoria's Secret. Uh, yellow frilly lingerie top, size small. Pick these up at the bins all day long. This probably was almost free because it is so lightweight, um, but these do sell and most people pass on them at the bins, but I don't, I pick them up. One of my favorite men's brands to sell, this is Untuck It. This is a men's extra extra large, so good size, button up plaid shirt. I do like finding this brand in men's. They used to sell for a lot more, but they're still flipping for us, so I still get it. Just don't um, expect as much as I used to. This is a J. Jill linen piece. J. Jill paired with linen always performs well for us. This is a size large, and it is a really nice black embroidered dress. Nikki found this. It didn't have the best comps, but in certain prints was doing well, so we decided to get it. It is Sweaty Betty. This is a size medium. It feels very high quality and this is like a tropical print legging with some mesh details on the sides. If you're going through the athletic section and you feel something that feels high quality but you don't recognize the brand, I always look it up because I'm all the time learning new leggings brands that I've never heard of before that uh, flip for really good profits. Okay, and last item, this one, this one's crazy. So there's no like brand tag I actually passed on this because I didn't know what it was and then I went to the bathroom and I came out and it was like facing me right as I came out and where'd it go and this was shining in the light and I saw that it was aloe yoga um, so this is like a poncho jacket thing with an attached scarf kind of login looky I don't know, aloe yoga always perform, performs well for us, but I am gonna have to look up, you know, what this kind of piece uh, will go for, but I am happy that I found this because I do like selling that brand. All right guys, so that's it for today's haul. I'm gonna jump right in to another haul from stuff we picked up this week. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below. That way you'll get notified when the next thrift haul goes live. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Oh.